Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I have got a good way up on the sleeve on my own. I was doing little ones in the, um, the morning, but I've decided I'm going to finish this sleeve first so I can do the um, the rest of the tutorial. At least if I put the... Um, I have filmed a little bit and I've told how many stitches um, I put on and how how many stitches were to increase and um, that. and So I'm going to carry on until I get up to the armholes and then I'll do a little bit more of the video and then carry on <coughs> carry on knitting till I finish the whole sleeve so anybody who's waiting for for the rest of this tutorial because I have been waiting a long time for this at least I'll be able to knit the two sleeves before I get round to putting the neck on and sewing it up but I have had um it was a comment on one of my videos and they were talking about joining When's the best place or the best time to join something? Well, I've just joined another ball. That was how much I had left of the other ball. And she was talking about, this lady was talking about um, joining in the middle of the row and knitting so many stitches together with both strands. And that I don't do that. I join at the edge. If you join in the middle and knit the two strands together for a few stitches you're going to get a thick lump in the middle and I don't like that and if you knot it you know you just knot it and then try to weave it in afterwards it just I only do that if it's absolutely necessary if I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough wool even just sometimes just a little bit like that can make all the difference to having enough to finish something you know so that's it's only if it's absolutely necessary otherwise I always join at the edge here and the first stitch when I join it the first stitch I always do with the two strands and then drop the drop the one ball and carry on with the um with the new ball that's what I've done there and it makes a much better it's much better to do it that way than to attempt to join in the um the middle and even if you did knit stitches together you would have to either weave them in afterwards the ends the two ends you would have to weave them in somewhere or sew them down somehow because they could come out after a few washes they could come loose So what I do, I think is the best. I wouldn't advise anybody to do anything else but that. So I'm hoping to get this sleeve finished today and then they the, do the tutorial and anyone that's following it can, because I know one lady is following it and she's got the two front, the back and the front done. She's waiting for the, um, the sleeves. And I can't remember when I started this, uh, actually. But I'm going to have to leave off soon because I'm going down my granddaughter's. I'm just going down to take, um, it's little Tommy's seventh birthday today. So I'm just going down to take his card and his little present for him. You know, some little Lego, that's what he's into, Lego. And he's bound to have what I've, what I've got for him. I think I've bought him things like that before and I've got that one. I say, oh, well, you've got two now, sure. <laughs> so that's what I've done, doing a little box of Lego, as well as always give him some money as well, because it's just a little, a little present, and then he can buy what he, he wants. At least it's not a lot of driving today. It's just down to my granddaughter's, and then I'll probably be coming back soon. I'm not staying... Um, all day. Now she's still got the kids. The kids are still off school, so and she mustn't be working today because she's out somewhere with the kids. I think. 
That's what she was when I messaged her. She said she was out. She'd let me know when she's back in. So that's what I'm going to do today. And when I finish this sleeve, which I will do sometime today, I'll go on to my little ones. This little one that I've, I'm doing. I'll get a bit more of this done, and which will probably be later on today and then carry on with some of my little ones because like i'm saying i haven't been doing this in the morning this morning like like i was going to do now i'll have to check this because i can't remember when i done the last increase whether it was four rows ago or three i'm i'm using the the four rows of the pattern i'm increasing on every eighth row so I'm using the four rows of the pattern, the start of one of the fourth rows, and I can't remember which one. I think I did it on the last one because I had two stitches there and I've got three there in the pattern. So I'll do the four to do on the, the thing to increase again. Well, I've got to change the stitch now. We're doing the opposite stitch now. But I do want to do some little little ones to sell as well because I have had a lot of wool sent to me by a lot of people a lot of my lovely subscribers and an awful lot of them have sent me maybe one two balls of different colours of things which I was going to do some children's things in and I just have not had time to to do any of them so I'm going to sort out a lot of those things because some of them are lovely colours. Some I got from Kate from the last homely house. Some from Emma. A lot from Sandra and a lot of my other subscribers. So I'm going to sort out and in between doing my the little orders I have for the little newborn cardigans. I'm going to sort some some of the other colours and do maybe one or two other sizes and either little sweaters and cardigans but probably some little hats little hats and things like that as well the hats and scarves and mitts for little ones that's all i'm doing it's just little ones at the um at the moment because i do have a lot of um i do have an etsy shop and i do have an ebay shop and I've been looking on the Etsy, there's only one or two things on the Etsy at the, um, the moment, but there's been an awful lot of people going onto that, onto my shop looking, so they must be looking to see if I'm putting anything up here. <laughs> but they mustn't be interested in what's up there, they're just looking to see what I've been putting up. So I'm going to have to get some things done for the, to stock the both shops up, really. And I think I've sold on... AB, I've sold more, they're mostly coasters that's on um, AB, but I seem to have sold more of them than anything else lately. So I need to do a few more of those as well, but not in the Christmas ones, because Christmas ones are finished. But I think our king will be crowned in May, I think it is. So I'll probably have to start doing some red, white and blue ones for or around about the time of the coronation so i'll have to get started soon on those because everybody else will be doing them so we've got to get in there first so that's just a little bit to keep you up to date with what i'm doing and thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you another day so bye for now